Hello, my name's Vitold Fitzsimon. This is a guided constructive rest practice, about 10 minutes long. The focus in this practice is to create a sense of support for the body to aid in the release of tension and anxiety. To get the best out of this practice, you'll need a quiet place where you can lie down and be comfortable. I recommend having some firm support under your head so your neck can be free of restriction. Constructive rest is usually practiced with the knees bent and the feet flat on the floor, but the most important thing is that you be comfortable. Let's begin. Once you've made your way to the floor and arranged yourself comfortably, take a few moments to turn your attention inwards to your body and to become aware of your weight. Allow that weight to settle back into the floor. And as it settles, become aware of the way in which the floor is there to receive that weight. As you yield to the floor, the floor remains constant, it remains solid, it remains stable. As you settle, notice the amount of effort in your body that you don't need. and see what you can let go of. Allow all that effort to soften into the support of the floor. Become aware of your neck. And let's think of your neck as being everything from the tops of your shoulders to the bottom of your head. Allow that whole expanse to soften. And as your neck muscles do a little less, allow your head to release back into its support and away from the top of your spine. As your neck softens and your head goes out, Allow your whole torso to be supported by the floor. And in that support, allow it to soften and to expand. Allow your back to lengthen and widen across the floor as your front, your chest, your abdomen soften and expand up and out into the space above you and around you. And as your neck softens and your head goes out and your torso expands, allow your arms and legs to release outwards away from your torso. Turn your attention to the movement of your breath. Watch what moves as you inhale and what moves as you exhale. In particular, watch the movements of your exhalation. Become aware of the ways in which you might be uh, limiting that exhalation. Perhaps you're holding your breath back. Perhaps you're pushing your breath out. Perhaps you're taking an inhalation before you've really finished the out breath. Whatever you notice, see if you can do a little less of it so that your exhalations can be long and easy and full. Turn your attention to the quality of your thoughts. So not so much the content, not so much what you're actually thinking about, but how do those thoughts feel? Are they agitated? Are they rushed? 
Are they sleepy? How do the thoughts feel? And how do the thoughts feel in your body? It's rare that we have a thought that doesn't in some way manifest itself in um, the tone and tension of our body, be it a good thought or a bad thought. Notice the ways in which your body is responding to those thoughts and see if you can let that go a little bit. And that might be a tall order. But think about your neck. How is the quality of your thoughts affecting what's happening in your neck? And can you perhaps let go of that effect? What about the rest of your body? What about your torso, your shoulders, your hips, your arms, your legs? How is the quality of your thoughts affecting those parts of you? And again, see if you can let go of that. If you find that there are tensions in your body that aren't willing to let go just yet, leave them be, but allow them to be supported by the floor. Tension in the body is not some ethereal thing. It's a physical response. It has a physical effect. Allow that mass, that substance that is being affected to be supported by the floor. and leave it be if it's not ready to let go. Come back to the idea of your neck muscles being a little softer, a little freer, so that your head can release away from the top of your spine. Come back to your whole torso expanding and your arms and legs releasing away from it. Come back to the movement of your breath, especially your exhalations, your long, free, easy exhalations. Come back to an awareness of the way in which the floor is supporting you. Come back to an awareness of the way in which not only are you settling back into the floor, but the floor is in its own way rising up into you. Think about getting up off the floor and observe what that thought does to the quality of your breathing, to the quality of your body. And give yourself a moment to release again into the support of the floor. And then when you're ready, roll over onto your side and make your way up off the floor. <laughs>